Here's the mail, it never fails, it makes you wanna wag your tail. When it comes, I wanna wail. Mail! Good morning, everybody, it's me, and Beyond. Welcome back to the world of the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker in the last episode. We got through the Forest Haven, or rather, we got through the Forbidden Woods. In this episode, we got ourselves some mail. We just got a letter, we just got a letter, we just got a letter, I wonder who it's from. Dear Link, if you're not, if you're reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I don't really know how these work, but I guess like the guy inside the post box gives the correct person the correct letter, I suppose. So yeah, just from the post office being all like, thanks for making my son less depressing. And we got ourselves a piece of heart because of that. This is the only piece of heart that is required of you to get in the entire game because there'll be points later in the game that require you to check the post box and that letter is going to get sent to your inventory immediately, whether you like it or not. So if you're trying to do like a three heart run, you're going to end up getting that piece of heart, but don't worry about it because just getting one piece of heart doesn't do anything for you. You need to get four of them for them to do something. All right then, so the King of Socks wants us to go to this island now to get the third and final pearl, but I don't really like listening to him, so we're going to go back to Windfall Island, but the question is, how are we going to get there? It's my question. Uh, this says, or it does not tell you on the map, that's weird, okay, whatever. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to like plan on my strategy of how I want to go about this. I think I'm going to go through here, here. Here, 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 and here. Just so we could get all the map fish locations along the way. I would just go the back the way we came, but we wouldn't really be making any progress on the map by doing that. So I'm going to be doing it like this instead. Alright then, so I'll see you guys when we go ahead and get to the first square, I guess. Alright, looks like we've reached our first destination. This place looks rather icy. I uh, don't believe we even have access to go here yet, so we're not going to go explore the island itself. Whoa, that snow really picked up quickly. Uh, we were just going to go ahead and get the map fish location if I can. Uh, did I just, yeah, I just wasted the bait. Cool, awesome. Yo, map fish, do you like just swim over here and eat it, please? Please? You're right on top of it. Just eat it. Oh, whatever. Wait, what? I am locked on to you. You are eating this bait. What the fruit? What? Do I just like... Did I like set up a glitch or something like that for... There he goes! He finally eats it! So there's a weird glitch if you accidentally throw the band to the ground and then you lock onto him and then throw it immediately after. He doesn't eat it! What the fruit, man? Hoy, small fry, you're a real sucker for throwing bait in there and having me not eat it. I'm now I got a big old feast that I'm gonna enjoy once you leave. <sighs> right then, it looks like an ear, the ice ring isle. Alright then. And he's all like, blah blah blah, there's treasure here, but you can't get in here because you're not cool enough yet. But this island is cooler than you because it's made of ice, her her. God darn it, how many times am I gonna do that singing boat jumping maneuver? Alright, then now we are going to want to go north, which is not this way, it is this way. I'm going to assume I'm going north. Yes, I am also. I know the compass is supposed to tell me, but it's inverted, so it's really confusing. So the blue, I assume the blue is where we're going. Alright, the blue points where we're going, but it's inverted, which is confusing. I don't like it. So, yeah, I'll meet you guys when we get to that square that's above us, which you can't see because of the stupid map system. And, yeah. Looks like we found a tingle bottle on the high seas. Why don't we read it? Because we haven't read one in a while. No, no, no. From Mom. Okay, then. Okay, over here there are a bunch of lookout towers. Now, I know some of the lookout towers do have useful items for you, but I honestly don't know which ones those are yet. And I could have looked it up and been a good Let's Player and junk, but now what are the chances of that ever happening? Uh, so instead, we are going to go ahead and just get the map fish location for this area. Once again, we cannot do anything here, so we are just going to ignore it for now and we'll just get the location and then be on our merry way and by the way i lied i said we were going to go to this square like in that last cut but no we were actually supposed to go to this one i forgot i do have a reason why i'm going like this little circle route so if you think i'm insane then 
don't worry about it. Not you're not completely wrong, but I'm not as insane as you think I am. Boy, oh, small fry. Alright, this is Southern Fairy Island. Alright then. Listen up, small fry. This is just between you and me. On Outset Island, buried beneath the black soil, there's some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. You're digging there. All right, then. Well, well, he just gives you hints. Like, I'm actually surprised how useful these hints are. To, like, for very good items later on. Hello. There are a whole bunch of enemies flying around here. I don't really know what they're called, but whatever. Uh, that sparkly thing right there. You could have pulled that out for buried treasure with a grappling hook, but I didn't really want to. Uh, let's see, map fish over here, buddy. How you doing? And there's another tingle bottle over there. Sure, we'll get that. Oh, I don't have the bait. God, diggity darn it. Oh, I wasted so much bait already. How much do we have left? Three. God darn it. Uh, this is not gonna be fun. Oh, did I miss? I stink and missed. Oh. And yeah, you're gonna hurt me. The original game, whenever you got hit by one of these things, you'd actually get knocked out of the boat. So it was really annoying. But thankfully, you don't do that in this game anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi, smell fry. Alright, this island right here is going to be... Southern Triangle Island. These names just get more and more creative as we go along. Alright, then. And he's all talking about the pictographs. You already got it done, dude. What, are you not keeping up with the Let's Play or something like that? Alright, whatever. So, because we only have one thing of bait left, uh, oh, you know, oh, god darn it, if I had just not messed up right there, I would have had just enough to pull this off. God darn it. Alright, maybe I'll run into a beetle shop on the way, who knows, but whatever, just gonna keep on going north. Ooh, this looks interesting. We got ourselves a bunch of rafts over here. Uh, gonna wanna go ahead and stop real quick. Uh, there's a boat goblin on every single one of these, uh, rafts. You can get three joy pendants from them, but I already showed you a better joy pendant grinding trick before. There were three inside of a submarine and then one outside, which would equal four, because I could do math. Uh, and then inside this one, there's only one moblin, so, yeah. Let's just go ahead and... Actually, you know what? I know it's gonna be risky, but let's take a selfie with the stinking moblin. Why not? We'll try it. Alright, then it's time for a selfie! Uh, let's see if I can do this. Oh, <laughs> I was like, where is he? And then smack. I right, you know what? We gotta get him, like, to get his butt in pain. So, let's take out the sword real quick. And wait for him to... Let's do a parry attack. Uh, you know, let's do it. You know, let's do it. Uh, I don't think so. Alright, then. <laughs> what the heck? He's, like, eating our stinking face. <laughs> Oh my god, I was trying to get, like, both of us in the shot, but, well, I guess we are both in the shot. I guess we'll save that one. Uh, and I did not mean to get that one. I wanted to go ahead and post it to me first. Excuse me, Moblin, while I go and check it my social media. Hey, man, why'd you gotta say something so mean like that on social media? Like, he looked like he was sad about something. Alright, then, enough goofing around. Let's go ahead and fight him already. Actually, you can take his skull nickels while we're at it. Oh, that would have been a good face to get, but no, nah, there's no top in the stinking picture I just got. Oh my god. Alright then, let's see if we can get rid of him. And... We're failing, we're failing, we're failing all along. Come on, just let your stinking guard down. Uh, actually, what the heck am I doing? Boomerang. Want them to let their stinking guard down, use the stinking boomerang. Boomerang! Thank you! Alright, now we can do that, and he is dead. Yay! And another one shows up being like, hey guys, what's all the ruckus? Uh, there's better be a heart in here, thank you. So this is actually the first episode of Midnight Beyond History where I have a live studio audience sort of sort being here. Um, as you just heard, I have a stinking dog here with me and dog sitting for my aunt and uncle. And oh, now she's leaving. She's like, oh, you don't want to read attention to me. I'm out of here. This guy keeps screaming about pig selfies. I'm getting low. Alright, so she just left. I like how she leaves as soon as I bring attention to her. Uh, what am I doing? I keep forgetting the boomerang. It's like how in Zelda games you never remember that you have a shield. Like, I just never use it once. Well, like, it's super useful if you actually do use it. 
And this guy's like, what did you do to my sister, my brother, whatever. My brother from another mother's other. I can't believe I just said that. All right then, oh, and she's back now. Uh, no, it's not the, oh God. I know it's not the most totes professional thing to have just dogs walking around and stuff and making noise, but she is so stinking good. I'll gladly just take some dog walking around as opposed to all the other nonsense that could go wrong during recordings. Like cell phone interruptions, for example, because that always happens. Like, it's been happening way too much in this LP. All right, then. You know, that's taken care of. We got ourselves another skull necklace. I don't know if I said this before. You need to get 20 skull necklaces for a side quest later on. We have six of them right now. Uh, yeah, we're getting pretty good so far. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, I was meant to show this off, but after I saved the game turn it off, it put me outside of the forest haven, so I didn't think to do it. Uh, after you save Makar, there is a, uh, what's it called? A Korok who will make potions for you out of your Bokobaba seeds. And, wow, okay, we got a piece of heart. Um, <laughs> If you want to go ahead and give 20 of those to him, he'll make you a potion that restores HP and MP. But there is a much better tactic to restoring HP and MP that we will be getting into later, so I'll just say forget about it for now. Alright then, now I just noticed that I wasn't in the best sitting direction for the microphone, so I apologize if I wasn't, like, super clear or stuff. I don't know, hopefully nothing bad happens because of that. Uh, I never got the map fish location uh, for this area. Alright, I believe this place is Six Eye Reef. I seriously remember that off the top of my head. I'm stinking d not like... No, I'm the opposite of dumb. I'm smart for remembering it. Where am I going? Okay, maybe I am not smart. Why am, can I not turn around? Yo, King of Socks, I know you're going with the sweetest sound. Got places to go. You gotta follow your rainbow. But it's nighttime. There are no rainbows, so turn around. Alright then. Let's just go over there. I think that's the island. And let's see if we can find the map fish on the map on the map. Got a wrap, DK wrap, take a nap. Uh, we still got that sweaty pear. Uh, let's see, go ahead and see if we can find the map fish. Uh, where could it possibly be? Uh, hello? Anybody here? Is that Beetle Shop? Oh no, that's a battleship of sorts. You don't want to go near it because it'll start shooting at you, obviously. Oh, jeez, 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 go back, go back, go back. Uh, where did he go? Where the heck did he go? I completely lost him. It was all your fault. Oh, there he's over there now. Jeez, keeps running away from me. Uh, just lock on to him, give him the last piece of bait that we have, and then we're good to go. It is Six Eye Reef. Hooray, there are six reefs in this air in this land of awesomeness and I just happen to know which number of reef it was. And they got a shop over there went blah 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 I already know blah 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 blah. I don't care. I'm getting everything done eventually. Okay, goodbye. Alright then. Now like I said I don't have any more bait so I'm gonna miss out on this square but hopefully we'll get on the way back. So yeah I'll see you guys at windfall or whatever. Oh hello uh sometimes on the great open sea you might find a giant big old tornado in the water do not go near it! If you find the mini tornadoes, those are fine, but the big one, you don't want to go near it. Uh, let's just say, um, without spoiling anything too much, it's an optional boss, and you can't defeat it yet because we don't have a certain weapon for it. If you go into it right now, though, he'll just teleport you to a random island on the world map. So, yeah, I'll take you way off course, so be sure not to do that. Or if you're super lucky, I'll take you to some place that you actually needed to go, but I don't have luck on my side, much like Nationwide. Nationwide ain't on my side. Another bottle, what does this one say? Another one from Mom, jeez. Uh, no message whatsoever. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much sums up my entire feelings of tingle right there. Uh, let's see, go over to Windfall, here we are. I don't even know if I cut away. I wasn't even really paying attention. I was just talking the entire time, or it's on the. I don't even know. Another tingle bottle, but I missed it, so we're not gonna read it, because I don't have time for it. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't know. I don't know if this is like the most unorganized LP of Wind Waker ever, or if it's like one of the most. Or not one of the most organized, definitely, but like. I'm doing it 100%, but at the same time, it's being done by Crazy Midnight and Beyond, so I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, so whatever. Now that we're finally here at Windfall. We're gonna be doing some side quests 19 minutes into the recording, Jesus Christ. Alright then, I'll try not to go overboard with the side quest this time around. 
Uh, there's only like a few that I can think of that we're even going to be doing right now, so no big deal, hopefully. First thing you're going to want to do is go into this schoolhouse. And talk to this lady over here with the crazy pink hair. Welcome to Miss Mari's School of Joy! Wow, Mari really let herself go after the Splatfest ended. I don't think you've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new people? I'll talk to her again. What can I do for you this Sunday? We need to talk. We gotta have a talk. Maybe I look flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall Island? 20 years? Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. I never learned any, oh, any sort of joy of my school. I only learned about suffering and pain and misery. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't know what she said, but we're gonna do something for her. So, she's got some students who don't know the meaning of joy. So, we're gonna go ahead and play with them or something like that to make them joyous or something. I don't know how that works, but whatever. So, these kids out here who've been just walking around look like they're a big old gang, and then when you get close to them, they start circling around you like they're all tough and stuff. Uh, talk to the leader. Yeah! Yo, bud. I just noticed Mario was in the background. Yo, buddy, got a problem with us killing bees, huh? Do ya? Don't tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to because Miss Mari asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about that. We're the mighty and invincible gang of four, the killer bees. You think we'd listen to a chump like you? But I'll tell you what, bud, if you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll think about maybe listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? You want to try to challenge us? Okay, sure, if it'll make you stop talking. Alright then, they're all gonna go play hide and seek, and we gotta go and find them. They won't hide indoors, and they won't leave the island. Thank God. Alright. Go! Yeehaw! And Mario's still just watching us go crazy, I guess. Um, so yeah, they've all hidden across the island, and we gotta go and find them all. Alright then, I believe the first one is... Around here somewhere. I don't know. I'm not gonna go get him in any particular order. I guess we're just gonna go and get him as we come along. Come along, little doggies. Alright, the first one is actually right here. It's actually where the leader is, up here. He falls from the tree like a nice little coconut and starts running around. I always hate hide-and-seek tag. Like, it's just not good enough that I, like... If you're the person looking for people, it's not good enough that I found you. They could still just end up winning anyway if they're if you're not able to outrun them. And if you're hiding, it doesn't matter how awesome your hiding spot is. Yeah, you got me. If you're not faster than them, then you still lose or whatever. I don't know. It's it's lame and painful, and I don't like it because I can't run fast. And I don't like it. Uh, let's see. The next one's over here. All you have to do is roll into them, and then they'll stop running around. Now, this next kid over here is actually my favorite one. Uh, is the wind blowing this direction? I doubt it, but let's see if I can just uh, speed through this. Eh, we can take a little risk. Uh, let's take out the Deku Leaf, and you could just sit along the wall right there, but I'm lazy! Oh, wow, that worked out really well for me. Let's go over here, and hey, look, it's Captain Olimar, sort of. Excuse me, he looks like stinking Olimar with, like, devil horn hair. All right, he jumps over there, and he's just on his merry way. Let's go over after him. Uh, what's in this jar? We got two blue rupees. Nice. Uh, let's go over to him. He's just running around. And I'm not going to talk to the stinking girls. That, that's his stinking strategy. It's also his strategy to hide. Oh, that would be amazing if I could like, knock him over with the pig. Uh, just go get Olimar. Your 30 days are up, good sir. Oh, lame. Alright then. Now the third kid is over. Jesus Christ, I don't want to talk to you. She was just like, what? <laughs> okay, let's go over here then to the tombstone where Elvis Jackson is dancing at. And then we find the. I, God darn, I don't want to talk to any of you. Third kid is hidden behind the tombstone. How appropriate. And he's just waddling away. I don't know why we let them go away. And I don't know how they don't sink and die from that million foot jump. He's just a boy! Jesus Christ! Stop talking! Alright, then go over here. And uh, he's using the pig strategy, the little girl strategy again. That sounds really weird when you think about it. Alright, go that, and he's like, Yeah, you got me! Yeah, yeah, Alfalfa impersonator. Oh, well, Alfalfa! Alright, then, now the last one is pretty difficult to find as well, but not with the power of previous playthroughs on your side or something like that. Just go through here and not run up, the, not like ram our head into the stairs and then get in trouble and have things slow down. 
So just keep going. And what the heck? Why is he back here? We didn't catch him over here, did we? That's awkward. He's just being all cranky and stuff. Maybe he'll give you a hint on one of the other. I don't need no stinking hint. I was gonna just ask him just to see if that was true or not, but I know as soon as I do, you'll be like, oh, you just did it because you didn't actually know where he was. Mm. Uh, I do know where the last one is, just a bit confusing. Uh, I believe she's over here. I honestly don't know if this one's a boy or a girl or not, but whatever. I'm just gonna assume it's a she because blue hair. And I don't know any guys with blue hair. Well, I don't actually I know one, but that was temporary. <laughs> okay, then. Alright, let's go over here then, and just, oh, she's gonna use the stair strategy to make us trip and stuff, alright, there you go, you're awesome, okay, that's definitely a girl, because girls are nice, the guys are jerks, all the other ones insulted us when we beat them, alright then, I can't believe this, you found all four of us, you guys out here talking about another defeat, alright then, so for defeating them in hide and seek, they give us a piece of heart, what do you stinking do? So favorite possession, for your proven that you're worthy. Alright then, hide and seek master, we need you to apologize to Miss Mari for us. Wasn't the whole point of this to get you guys to apologize to her? Oh, whatever. Just go in here then, and apologize for them. We got ourselves a purple rupee for doing that, hooray. Don't tell anybody, dear, don't tell them that you bribed us or something, I don't know. So whatever, once you get that purple rupee and leave the place, uh, you walk out all slow like and they're just waiting for you like, hey, sounds like you apologized to teach for us. Good old Ms. Mari and speaking of bud, all right, I'm not even gonna read this thing. It's her birthday soon, they wanna get her a present but they're too cool for that so they need us to get the present for her. They like to, uh, they wanna get her joy pendants because she really likes those or something like that. And he tells you where you could get one free joy pendant on this island in case you went through this entire stinking game without getting one for yourself yet. Alright, whatever. This is what the joy pendants are for. I believe you only need 40 of them. I got 60 by accident, but this is honestly also a good money grinding tactic. Uh, so, I'm gonna talk to her. I don't wanna talk to you. Nothing. I see. Alright then. Let's go into our spoils bag and take out the joy pendants. And we're going to go ahead and not crouch. We're going to bow to her. Now we're going to give it to her. My dear, that's a joy pendant. Ah, stranger danger. Uh, to tell you the truth, I love Julie Bell of all else. And that's why I extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my, yes, I'm loving it. I can't decide a voice on her. She says she would like 20 of them. I don't know why she wants 20 of the same stinking necklace, but whatever. If you give her just one, then she will go ahead and give us a red rupee. Alright then. And let's see. Go ahead and give her 20 more. Or rather, 19 more. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me join. You have 62? Why? I don't think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me. Alright then. So she's going to go ahead and take have exactly 20 of them. So now she has 20. And says it's her lucky number. Alright then. And she'll give us this thing, the Cabana Deed. It's written on yellowed parchment. It looks quite old. Dum da dum. Dum da dum. Is that what you're trying to do? I don't know. Let's see. You're your teacher, but you also have a cabana in a tropical oasis down south. Oh, but lately, I haven't made use of it, so you could leave. All right, then. <laughs> or we could leave. We could have it. So she gave us a stinking private oasis island in exchange for some necklaces. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder what will happen if we give her 20 more joy pendants. Let's find out. Give those to her. And she's like, are you still giving me these? But I told you I was perfectly satisfied with the 20 you gave me before. But my, you are such a persistent little dear. Since you are so insistent, I will accept them happily. Fine, I have no choice but to unleash pure joy on you. All right, then. Now she has 42. Or no, she has... Uh, now she has 63. I don't know. I don't do math. But in exchange for 20 more joy pendants, she's going to give you a piece of treasure chart. Okay, then my sources are wrong. <laughs> we got a treasure chart. So, uh, I was a bit confused there, but you guys may also be confused about the fact that she gave you a treasure chart. Alright, doesn't it fill you with joy? No, not really. Uh, why the long face? I understand, my dear. I really do. You're just willing up with joy at having done such a good deed, aren't you? Alright, whatever. And we're totally out of joy pendants. Not joy pendants. Oh, yeah. We are out of joy pendants now. Oh, no. It's so sad. Okay, then. So, now that that's taken care of, we got ourselves a treasure charm. But you may be a bit confused about that. Because in the original game, she gave you something called the Hero's Charm. 
That is something that has been switched out a bit. It's a bit weird. It's still in the game, but it's now in a different location. And now that piece of heart that I was thinking of. So, all right, let me try to explain this. The She was originally going to give you a thing called the Hero's Charm, but now the Hero's Charm is in a location where you originally got a piece of heart. The piece of heart in that area that was in the original game is now underwater, and you need the treasure chart that she just gave you to locate it. That's how it works. Okay then, the hero's charm, I'm not gonna spoil what it is yet, but it's an item that does something, and we'll be going and getting it later. So, now that that's taken care of, that's pretty much every side quest I wanted to do here right now. There is one more I guess we can do real quick, I promise it's super quick. You just gotta go ahead and it was another Pictabox taking one, so let's just go ahead and talk to this guy real quick. It's like, no one understands me, man. I don't like the world and all that jazz, but whatever. We're gonna say that we do understand him and stuff. He's like, wait, you're trying to tell me you do understand how I feel? Completely. All right, he wants us to take a picture of the most perfectly round, pale thing he could think we could think of. All right, the most perfectly round, pale thing. No, he's not talking about the Windfall Bay's beautiful face. He is talking about the full moon. So we gotta go ahead and take a picture of the full moon. Now, the actual moon in this game works like real-life constellations in the real world, so you're going to have to go ahead and uh, play the Song of Passing a couple times to make sure the full moon's actually out, because it's not just always, always going to be automatically out during the night time. It depends on the cycle of life and stuff. Uh, so let's see, not <laughs> blow the stinking thing. Let's go ahead and uh, let's look for the moon, I guess. Uh, we are not at the full moon yet, so I'm just gonna cut away to when it's finally time for a full moon. Okay, we finally got the full moon to appear. Let's go ahead and make sure it's in the shot. And say cheese! Get it? Cause the moon's made of cheese? Nyeh. <laughs> Alright, now just to keep in mind, you do need the color picked box in order for this to work. If you use non-color, then he's going to be all like, Oh, you don't understand it at all. Though, you'd think a black and white photo of the moon first off would make no difference since the moon's already white. But also, it would make it even more pale colored if it was in black and white. So, isn't that a good thing? I don't know. But whatever. We don't understand him, I guess. And what the heck kind of picture is that? That's creepy. Uh, let's go over to him and give him the picture. It's kind of funny, the first time I played this game, I thought the perfectly round pale thing he was talking about, I thought it was like, talking about one of the pigs on the island. Oh, that's right, it certainly is the pictograph I'm looking for. The correct answer is exactly what you showed me, the full moon. Unrequit- yeah, big word. Alright then, he's gonna give us a reward for taking a picture of that. We got ourselves a treasure chart! Alright then. So, uh, if you were just as confused as I was when playing this game as a kid, you actually can find him in the island at night just looking at the moon and he'll that'll be sort of a hint towards it what you're trying to be taking a picture of but whatever now that's finally taken care of hopefully this episode isn't actually going to be 30 minutes long because i cut out a bunch of stuff but whatever we're gonna go ahead and end this off here next time on the legend of zelda the wind waker we are going to go to i guess this place because we got nothing else better to do and i don't know why i jumped in the water i don't know because there's so many great things you're gonna i know you've seen that this has been Ambiance, see you all later, good night, blah 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 blah. Piggy!